Welcome back. It's time for Foodie Friday, and two women are helping turn up the heat in Portland with their Singapore cuisine and products, including their crowd favorite sambal. Sambal is a type of chili sauce, very popular in Singapore, and soon to be your next pantry staple. <laughs> Joining us live to tell us all about their products, to walk us through a little taste test, is Holly Ong, one of the co-founders of Subeho. Good morning. How are you? Oh, um, I need. I have to do something. Are we live now? Oh, we no. are. We are. <laughs> you ready? We're going to get right into it. Okay, cool. My computer just said I have low battery. That's oh, fine. okay. Oh, no. Well, okay. We'll We've power only through. got a couple minutes, so yeah, go find go find the charger while we while we take a look at some of this stuff. So, uh, so some sambal. We were just reading. We, we were both talking about how we're both label readers, right? Mm -hmm. So I was looking at this. It is. Uh, it's it's spicy. It's like a chili sauce, but it packs a little extra. Umami, because well, it, it's got onions. And, and the aroma in it is pretty. Mm -hmm. Like, you can smell it. I've never had it before, so I'm looking Shallots, forward to trying it. red onion, oil, garlic, chili, a little sugar, a little salt. Yum. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited intrigued. to try it. Excited I'm excited to intrigued. learn about it, too. So, Holly, how did you guys get your business started in Portland? Yeah, so Pat and I, um, we've been friends for a long time. We, we, we knew each other from Nike Days in Singapore, and then uh, she moved up. And then I moved up as well. And we had we everywhere we've moved, we we miss Singaporean food. And Singaporean food is very distinct because it includes Chinese, Malay, Indian, and Nonya food. So we grew up this multicultural mix. But one thing that was always inside was uh, sambals. We like things a little bit spicy. We ha and sambals are a very good condiment because if you think of it in Italy, there's pesto, but there's many different types of pesto. That's the same thing with sambals. Oh, okay, mm. I get it. Yeah. Okay, so we wanted to try a few of yours. We were just reading, um, talking about the, the Booms sauce, so we, we figured we'd start with that with a little taste test. Oh, um, maybe you start with the blue one first. The blue, okay, one. The blue, the one, blue first. one first. We'll take, we'll take your advice. So tell us about it. Which one is this? Yeah, so this one's our chef's favorite. It's our favorite cooking one. So last year we did a collab with um, Lardo as well. It was one of the best selling sandwiches they ever had. We Ooh. marinated it. So you smell it and you taste it. So one of the things we like to do is it's like what we call low, low effort, high flavor. We use it as a stir fry, use it as a marinade, and Pacific uh, Northwest salmon is so amazing. That's why we we That's really recommend good. That. The blue one really and the green. Yeah. So this is actually vegan as well. A lot of our vegan customers love it because they can use put it into anything they're doing and make great flavors out of it. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great. I like how I like the how the heat it's it's there, but it doesn't overpower you and it's it like really nicely developed. balanced it takes out a second. Yeah. with some of the other you know flavors and there's that nice umami mm -hmm. the onions really kind of that's round really it nice. out yum that's really good thank you and then the green one which we just won an award for uh -huh. this is really good awards so we actually work with rohingya refugee farmers out with the group portland group um outgrowing hunger but this one is tangy and a lot of people like it because it adds a lot of um instant flavor to food as well mm -hmm. but you can feel that it's a very big contrast from what you just tasted and the reason we have it is uh, it actually makes you um, feel less guilty about eating more. So at Thanksgiving, that's on our table. We eat it with high, like things that are deep fried, um, things that are um, like roast pork and heavy braises. So you don't feel guilty about eating it at all. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to okay. feel guilty anyway. It tastes too good. Uh -huh. I, I was going to let it slide anyway. That's this really is great. Good. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last one is always what we call the wild card. So this one has a bit of what we call funkiness because traditionally in Southeast Asia, we have a lot of fish, uh, fermented shrimp or fermented fish in our diet. Um, it helps add protein a lot, umami. So this one is a bit spicy, but it's funky as well. And it's got a bit of sweet note. Yeah. Um, we generally eat it coconut rice called nasi lemak back home, but um, it's also really nice with, um, we, we recommend it with our toast, with any form of eggs. Like eggs, we're always looking for something to flavor with, so this is great. Mm -hmm. And it, do you like it? <laughs> yeah, that, I I, I, that one's like, it's a little bit more mellow on the heat side, a little, right. a little more sweet. And I, you I definitely do get the, the shrimp in mm -hmm. there too. Yeah. A little bit of that yeah, fishy, briny, but that's really good. Yeah, They're all that's really, really good. good. And, and I, then think sorry go ahead no no think of it if you can imagine um melted brie or camembert oh with that. wow that's a ball yeah. 
Hey, yeah, it's also National so Wine Day, so if you want to pair that up with some brie and National Wine cheese, Day. This cheese, little wine, and I'm usually kind of a wimp when it comes to spice, and I could do that. So yeah, no, the, 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 the spice is not overpowering. A little chili, it, but a lot of flavor. Yeah, really, really, really good. And, and honestly, it's a, I mean, I'll, I'll speak for myself. I don't want to speak for everybody, but I, I've never heard of Sambal before. So if it's something you haven't tried before and you yeah. want to try something new, this is a wonderful, wonderful flavor to, to give a shot. Mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Holly with Sabejo, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Have a great weekend. Thanks for having us. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. Take care. And of course, if you want to try their food, check out their Sambal. Sabejo has a location on Northwest 23rd near Johnson Street. You can also go to their website, sebejo.com. We didn't even get into talk about how they help refugee farmers. So go on their website and read their story. It's very cool. It really is, yeah. Very, very much worth the read. And uh, I mean, this is delicious. So it's worth supporting for multiple reasons. Yeah.